Hey everyone, how's it going? In honor of St. Patrick's Day today, I want to show you guys how to make a shamrock shake. So I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now, to start off with our shamrock shake, we need to begin right here at about the middle of our paper. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make a nice little straight line right up here, a little bit higher than the middle. So I'm just going to draw a straight line right across like this. Now on each side of here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to curve in on each side. Next, I want to connect these. So I'm just going to connect these lines right here. Now, starting right here, I'm going to make a straight line that comes down. And over here, I'm going to make another straight line that comes down. And you can see they're just angled in just a tiny bit. We'll make them just a little bit longer. Now, right here at the bottom, I'm going to make a line that's going to curve right across here. I'm going to start inside a little bit and I'm going to make two little lines right down here. Then I'm going to connect these again. Just kind of like a little bit of a curved line. Now I'm going to start right up here a little bit and I'm going to add a straw. I'm going to start here and I'm going to make a line that's going to go up at an angle. Then I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go over like this. And I'm going to go over like this. Now starting here, we're going to add a little curved line and another little curved line right here. Starting right here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to curve up, and then it's going to go in like this. Right here, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to go up to my straw. I will jump over it, and I'm going to bring it down. Right here, I'm going to start in a little bit, and I'm going to make another line that comes to here. Then right here, we're going to make a little line that goes up, and it's going to curve down here. Right here, I'm going to add a little line that's going to curve up and down. And then one more that goes up and then down right here for the cherry. Now, right inside of here, I'm going to add some details. So the first thing I'm going to do is starting here, I'm going to make a nice long line that goes down on this side. And one that's going to go down on this side too, really close to the edge. Then we're just going to connect them with a curve like we did at the bottom. Now, starting right in here, I'm going to make a nice circle shape. And I'm just going to use something to trace my circle shape. So I'm just going to make a nice little circle shape right here. And I'm just going to trace right around here to get a nice circle. Now, inside of here, I want to add a little shamrock. I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to make a little line that's going to go up. It's going to come down. And another one that's going to go up and then down like this. I'll draw one here. It's going to go out and then in, out and then in again. We'll do the same thing on this side. I'm going to go out and then in, and out and in like this. Right here, I'm going to make two little lines that come down and a little line to connect it. Now, starting up here on the straw, I'm going to draw a little line that curves to connect it. 
Then just go ahead and make some little curved lines going all the way across here on your straw. Now you can leave your shamrock shake just like this or you can give it a face. I'm going to give it a little face just to make it kind of fun. I'm going to begin right here and I'm going to draw a circle for an eye. I'm going to leave some space and I'm going to make another circle over here and I'm going to try to make sure it's about the same size. Inside each one we're going to add a black dot for the pupil. Then right here I'm going to make a curved line. Then another line that goes down and then up like this for the mouth. Next we'll make a little sad face in here for the tongue. And I like to just color this part in black just to make it stand out. Then up here on the cherry, just to be fun, I'm going to add two little black dots and a little mouth up here as well. And there you go. There is your drawing of a shamrock shake just in time for St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.